in both of those. Uh, but if you think about uh, from, so the total bonus program I'm going to announce in a second, uh, but you know, we've had people from 49 different states come to Florida to join law enforcement at the, at the municipal, county, or state level, including more than 400 from three states alone. Could you guess them? California, Illinois, and New York. And, um, and if you think about what's happened around the country, some of these areas, St. Louis Police Department, all-time low in terms of the number of officers. Chicago, 1,600 fewer officers than they had in January of 2019. Of course, New York City averaging 200 officers leaving the force every month. That's not by accident. Uh, they're doing that because they don't have the support of the community. A lot of these politicians weaponize against them. And a lot of the laws are so lax that it gives the criminals the advantage to be able to commit crimes really without major repercussions. And so our bonus program has been successful. In fact, I can say that very soon, because you know this stuff happens on a daily basis, but, but probably by the end of this month, uh, we will have hit 5,000 officers who have qualified for our $5,000 bonus program. And that's a big, big deal, and it's made a big, big difference. And of course, that's after taxes, and so uh, whatever we're paying is more than that, and then they net $5,000, which is really, really important. So we've distributed $32 million to date in that program. The legislature has continued to fund that in this year's budget. We're still going through the budget, and we'll, we'll finish that uh, hopefully in the not too distant future. But I can tell you the 17 million that the legislature has put to continue our bonus program for law enforcement officers has been approved. And so we're gonna have that for, for one more year. And that's really, really significant. Uh, we've also done things to ensure that um, uh, local governments now, St. John's County would not do this, uh, but you know, we've got a big diverse state. Uh, any municipality could have a handful of people on a city council that would do dumb things. So we, uh, several years ago, enacted a policy to block local governments at the municipal and county level from defunding the police. Uh, we think it's an insane policy. We don't think people should be, we don't think people should, um, why would you want to defund a police canine? I mean, come on. Uh, we don't think that they should be doing, um, we don't think there's a justification for it. And what happens is they do this, and when they've done this, they've, they even the really uh, anti-police jurisdictions have had to reverse because it's, it's so crazy. So we don't want to put in a situation where any of our citizens are put at risk because you may have a handful of yahoos do something really stupid. So we're uh, uh, the first state in the country to, to stop that in its tracks, and that's been very, very successful.